Hi there, in this video we're going to show you how to create a widget kit such as a map or a slideshow. Okay, so you've logged in in a normal fashion again, uh, the main name forward slash administrator and it's coming to this area. Okay, so first of all we want to create the actual widget kit itself. Uh, there is actually one on here but I'll just talk you through it. So you go to components, widget kit. Okay, and that will take you to this screen here with the various options. Okay, so you have your tabs across here, which is a different type of widget kit which you can create for your website. Um, for the purposes of this, we'll go through the map. Okay, so you would add new. I'll just click on, on my one here, but you click add new and it'll bring you to the same screen, um, which is just this one here. Okay, so you give it a name. Uh, I've called this contact map. And then you click on set location. And that brings up the map. So if you type your postcode in there, just click on what it brings up, and that should mark where you are. And then set location. And that will just uh, give the coordinates there. Um, you get to choose the color of your dot. So you've got uh, all various different colors there. We'll just leave that red for now. And then you get a pop-up message as well. So when people hover over the, the, uh, the marker on the map, um, and click on it, they can bring up, um, you could put your address in there as well, looks looks quite nice. Um, I've set some sizes here, so have a play about with this. Um, I wanted it to be a width of 500 and height of 300. As I say, you can just um, come back into it and just see how it looks on the site and just change that uh, as I wish you want. Uh, and then you've got different types of map. You can use satellite, hybrid terrain, uh, road maps are standard. Uh, then you have zoom level, um, you can adjust that depending on how you want uh, people to see it, how how, uh, how far zoomed in. Map controls always leave it default. Um, show the type controls, centre marker show, um, and directions enabled in case people want directions of how to get to you. So as I say, you can play around with these. You can also set them to auto um, if you wish, um, or as I say, just play about with some numbers. So we'll save that. Okay, so that map now needs somewhere to uh, to live as such. So we, what we're going to do is uh, go into Extensions and Module Manager. And we want to create a new module manager. A new module, sorry. So we click New. Um, I've actually just created it here. So but click New and that will bring you to this screen here. So again, give it a name. Um, hide the title there. Um, select a position, again uh, the sheets you were given at the course um, should show you the positioning of, uh, of the module. So I've chosen in the bottom, it's quite tidy for a contact us page. Um, but again you can uh, you can change it as, a, as a, when you wish. Okay so uh, just come down to uh, this next section here and what you'll find is it will probably be displayed as on all pages. Uh, so what you want to do is click the drop down only on the pages selected. You'll see they're all highlighted there, just click clear selection and just click the pages you want it to appear on. So I just want it to be on the Contact Us page. So, okay, and on this right-hand side here, you click the widget drop-down, and it will give you all the widgets that exist. You should all have um, slides set on there, and you've probably all got the map, which we created on the course as well. Um, so just click the map one, save and close. What I'll do, I'll come back to the website, refresh that page, and we should see underneath the concept details the map and there it is okay thank you